Episode 120, 120, are you ready for more hashtag? It's a console episode, so if you're not a Patreon or a hashtag hero, you can hear the content for free, but become a hero for me. Hashtag episode 120, let's go! It's the hashtag Beautiful, beautiful. That's when the fucking the big fu- the, the 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 water works go up. You know the big fountain. That's it. The fucking fireworks. 120 episode. 120. That's fucking. Mate, episode 120. Brilliant. Episode. It's only taken us 75 years, but we go to episode 120. We've made it. I mean, when I was up, I close. I was jagging up, man. Just a four. <laughs> I went. We will never get 120, man. <laughs> Mate, I remember when I was lying in a hospital bed, right? And I'd just been fun at the back of your scheme and like, they were cutting the trousers off me because they were so caked and shite they couldn't get them off. And the nurse was like, this boy needs to start a podcast. And look, it's now 120, mate. All the track marks have gone. 120, mate. You know what I mean? Well, it's a new life. It's a new life. I I mean, I'm, still doing, I'm still doing the methadone, right? But every time I'm doing the chemist getting up, you... Fucking beaker of the jungle juice, man. The woman's like, yeah, are you, are you, are you want to get the hashtag show? I'm like, uh, <laughs> many episodes <laughs> on, many episodes on now. I like that. I don't, I don't inject the heroin. I only smoke it. I mean, uh, 120. No way. Uh, they can't so that coming, man. How how good do you think heroin is? Fucking a mate, I don't know. Like, do you think anybody's ever taken? You've not taken heroin, have you? You have. You've have taken it. heroin. You smoked. <laughs> it. You're fucking absolute maniac. Hey, listen, and I'd just like to point out there, I was not aware that I was smoking heroin. At no, the time. I thought it, I was smoking. Was... <laughs> I thought I was smoking crack, my man. I thought it was Twitter <laughs> Regal with the ice cream van, man. Couldn't was like that. Hey. <laughs> it's all imagine, right, man. Imagine the ice cream van Oof. selling fags <laughs> laced with laced with heroin. It's time, it's time, Mal. It's just a dragon. Did you, <laughs> did you, <laughs> did you have an ice cream van that sold bags of fags? Fucking right. I had an ice cream van that sell fags by the single, tip singles. Mate. I had an ice cream van that fucking sell dope and everything. <laughs> sell me bits of law. But hey, fucking, he made a bit, he made a turn, man. Made a turn. The, the ice cream van that was doing an arcade, the guy used to sell bags, like no 10p mixture bags. Uh-huh. Or crash, or crash and broken. No, 10p mixer bags are fags, but they were all, they, they all had like fucking <laughs> mad, like, <laughs> mad like Turkish writing and like mad fucking Islamic writing on them, Aye. man. So it's all the ones that like, because remember the day when How many people used to go and they're just back for the whole day with a suitcase. Fire, Aye, but they? that's what I mean. Remember when people used to go and hold like, you want any fags brought back? And they'd be like, everybody was getting fags brought back. And then when they stopped the Brian. whole duty free thing and people had to sneak in, but I remember yeah. coming back from my mom when was like, just keep walking. I was like, what's going on? She's like, there's 40 litres in your bag. I'm like, I'm going to jail, man. You're to Even if you didn't it. smoke, if somebody found out you were going to jail, right. you better bring me back all the right. fags you can get. But I Mate. don't smoke. <laughs> Fucking bring us them back, man. Like, see the amount of people who came back from holiday? Holiday. Holiday. <laughs> who, never, who never brought fags back from? They were just targeted as wrong. And, like, <laughs> mules? But, fag mules. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you mean you mean you done a border run and you didn't bring back 200 fags? No, I don't smoke. Well, fucking somebody <laughs> does smoke. See the money you could fucking make out of that, you fucking clown. I honestly, mate, he used to sell 10p mixture bags full of cigarettes. And right. like some some of them were just actual fags, and some of them would light it and just go, whoosh, like just dis- just disappear. <laughs> like your joke fags, right? Like, Stop it. <laughs> but, uh, the woman who the woman and the guy obviously drove the ice cream vans are obviously coming back heavy suntan. That's probably when you knew you were getting the cheap fags. The best one is see because obviously the, the, the ice cream van, man, right? It's, it's like fucking the wild west, right? So they just anything they could get in the van. They, they had, so this is like before, obviously before Netflix and all that carry on. So he started doing DVDs. DVDs. So you'd have like the DVDs like against the glass window, but then you just hear the guy like, 
you'd see no because like, obviously if you had the van tick right people would avoid the van so the guy would be coming around like he'd see a wade or something like tell your dad <laughs> you better get fucking blues brothers too back to this van I'm good pays <laughs> no it's, so you go to the van that's a queue and it's just all the bands wanting 10 pence mixes and stuff uh, like that and then at the back there's like an older guy just waiting in his scuddy DVDs <laughs> just waiting for it to quiet and down what you after mate right, uh, right, I'll bye. take what you I'll after take... <laughs> I'll tell you I'll fudge you do and I'll span <laughs> I'll span at six <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen our band it's five it's just the same storyline man you'll be fine mate I'll pick it up uh, I, uh, I don't have a oyster in fucking Arse Man was five please <laughs> <laughs> and fuck uh, it he's a 10 piece mix of the I'll, take, uh, I'll take a single nugget a caramac a packet of McCoy's <laughs> and uh, he's uh, shaving Ryan's privates I'll take that as well <laughs> <laughs> and he used to sell everything man they used to sell fucking everything and then it would all kick off where see like I worked in macro, right? You'll obviously know macro. You're a fan of the uh, cash and carry. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, working away. And uh, so they used to kick off. See, sometimes like, oh, what have we got today? You better, is that the old banana just cake? Just a, a wee coconut sponge cake. Sorry. I'm just, well, you were I'm divulging gonna, there. I'm I was going to divulge that. myself, you know. I'm going to turn that down a bit because I think I might be peaking at this. Uh, mm. uh, so it used to kick off when people would buy like the crates of ginger. So they'd buy like 24 tins of iron brew or 24 tins of coke, that kind of thing, or they'd buy like the pallet of coffee or stuff. But then it would help. so they would all kick off when it had like the price on it. Because some sometimes the, the cans of ginger you know, sell like, as a, a single and all that kind of stuff. 39p and they would sell it for like two pounds. So I remember once the guy in the van, somebody tried to buy a, a jar of coffee and it said like two pound nine on it, and he's like, it's four pounds. He's like, is this two pound nine on it? He's like, Well, you go to the fucking shop and get it for that. And I'm going, This is this is brilliant, man. Just stand, it's like it's the original street theatre was the East Cream van. Listen, you get a and bit of music. The guy. Music and a the show. Young, the young birds working in the fucking van, on it? Mate, any t- see when they you obviously tropical for me. see they when you got a bit. Out. Aye, no, they but they are still a step below uh, chip shop birds. The, aye, chip chippy birds were were the fucking were the page three of my scheme, and then underneath that, I'd say it was ice cream birds, and then just birds in the street after that. That aye, because chippy birds is. Chippy Birds is like Zoo and Nuts magazine of its time. Mm-hmm. And- <laughs> aye, aye. If you want to have a link table, that's, aye, aye, aye. that's equivalent. Just how does a young boy's going, uh, you want salt and vinegar? Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, whatever. She, aye, aye, she yeah. gave us 11 sweets in my dead pins mix up. <laughs> oh. But then Chippy Van Birds were just like fucking scheme rats, man. That- no, they weren't. They were. They, no, were, but they were. They were at a different were, level. They were driving about in a big van with all the sweets you could eat. But they, you knew that Chippy Chippy Birds had a bit of class about them. There was a, you know, they were like a, football players' wives. Aye, they had a flow to them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They were like there was a bit the of wags class. of the scheme. Aye, the wags of the scheme. But then the ice cream van birds. You knew they were getting rattled about that van. Do you mean so that just took the shine off it? <laughs> well, did it? No, it did. But then, see, when you got a bit older and you understood. You started to learn about sex and stuff like that. Every time Sexual the van politics. Would, every time the van would come running and have the birds on it, you were like, Pedo, <laughs> Pedo. <laughs> the guys come <laughs> Mr. <Whippy>. Aye. <laughs> These dirty, dirty rat bags. My mate's a fucking ice cream van driver. And does he have a does he have a young young maiden helping them out with the scoops? I was obviously l- hot lassies in the in the van with him and that, you know? I'm sure he's having lots of fun, you know, down the old Salkitts Harbour selling the, the old cones and that, you know? <laughs> but Chippy, Chippy Birds were... Chippy Birds were just a different... Wags. When you were a young... when you, uh, they were, Ch- Chippy Birds were wags in training. They were just a different breed, man. Different level. In fact... Oh, here we go. One of the Chippy Birds that I used to heavy fancy married my mate's big brother who played for Rangers. There you fucking go. There you go, mate. There you go. It's a circle of life. It's a circle of life. Do you know what I mean? My God. In, in America, I my have... out to her. <laughs> in America, you have pageants. So, like, young girls will do, like, pageants and become, like, Miss Colorado and stuff like that. Whereas uh, in Scotland, we send, it with, it? we send it with the Blue Lagoon. Or the... <laughs> Hi, Franco's... my name's Sandra, and I worked in Aldo's Chippy from 1987 <laughs> to 1991. Uh, well done, Sandra. Well done. Not a single burn. Don't lose Sandra. Not a single burn mark on me. Just the pineal, <laughs> nothing else is underneath it. 
I used to go to um, what was the chip in in Renfrew called? Fucking hell, man, Dominic's. And no, they, and let's let's let, all chippies. It's Dominic's. Well, Aldo's. here's the thing, mate. They never had a chippy bird. They never had. Where's his wife? Didn't get his wife in, did he? No, they had like a couple of old old kind of scheme birds. That maybe back in back in the here day. Back in her day. Nah, she was, she's cut, locked in the shops all her life. She knows it inside out. They had a couple of <laughs> they had a couple of women. She puts her finger in the fat to know the temperature of the fryer. That's ready Aye, to go, Franco. Fucking hell, Ben. <laughs> Shaves her legs on the heat that's coming off the fucking fryers. Dips a nipple in it. Boop. Good to go. Get a fish on. They looked as if they worked in the chippy back in the day, failed to snag a footballer and have come Aye, back just... to the chippy. And they just couldn't kick off the chippy life. That's it. Couldn't shake your chippy <laughs> life, mate. <laughs> the the of, original OG a chippy the, life. The smell of malt vinegar just brings them rushing <laughs> back. Good oh, fucking, I'm soggy about a broom paper just wets some knickers, man. It's amazing how, like, you're, the first time you go to a chippy, it is like a, it's like a fucking new it's world. Las Vegas. Because there's a, there's a language to understand. I never knew for a long time what a special fish was. <laughs> I thought there was like some retarded fish kicking about in the back of the gym. <laughs> They've got to get two, two special fish. That's says, wrong, man. Two fish, wrong. One, one with three hey ice. you guys! <laughs> <laughs> Bring out this big giant fish. He's like, oh, get it's, in the fire. This is Sammy the Clod. <laughs> it's a big right. fucking, two big fish with one with a wee hat on it, kink to the side. <laughs> hey you guys! With, with a bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that fish got a bowl cut? So I didn't know what a special fish was, uh, and then people would come in and like behind you in the queue, but shout their order, and you're like, "What the fuck are you shouting for?" And then you understand the etiquette of it. If there's something you need, it's no cook. You've got to shout ahead. Do you know what I mean? You're so learning I mean, the menus. You're learning what you're like because you're getting there. You're getting there naive, and you might it's a chip roll, a poker chips, bag of chips, whatever you want it. to call it. Then and you start it. learning the game, learning about the hustle. My, I remember my chip is so we used to get a roll and sausage, uh-huh. right? But a roll and sausage was a buttered roll. Uh, a battered sausage cut in half, and then there was chips in tampi as well. That's nice, right? That's so nice. I remember. So yeah, you, you had pickle this, in there, pickle. N- mate, I've never been a fan of the pickle. Fucking never been a alien. fan of pickle. Alien. But then you understand how the chippy works. Do you know what I mean? Whereas now, obviously, I'm I'm East Coast. You know what I mean? I am in the uh, the, salt the, the, salt the devil's vinegar. armpit. I've always been a fan of salt and sauce because I'm a big fan of brown sauce. But mate, out here, how many bits of fish do you get in your supper? One. Uno. It's two. It's and a it, bigger couple. You get one in Edmonton. Now, their argument will be you get one big, massive bit of fish, just like no. you do in England, but you need the two. It's the two wee, thin, heavily battered ones. That's what oh, you want. You, no, you always get a good meteor sized one, and then it's weak in a fucking. A wee hot, a wee hot one. A wee, uh, <laughs> a wee fled fish. We Nemo next to it. Battered. <laughs> I remember my, the, tip, the chippy, it was actually at the boat on my street. It was called Don's, Dominico's. Right. And we used to call it Big Don's. I'm going to do it to Don's. He's, he fed the fucking herx. Where I was brought up, right? He was the man. He was almost like the feather you never had. That's what he was, the schemes feather, right? And I remember the first time he went like, all right, Locker, son, he called me by my name. Mate. And I was just like, I'm fucking one of the gang. I mean, that's the thing. People go like that. Oh, you were on top of the pops, you know, and then you've, you've released multi selling platinum albums and toured the world. But, you know, what's the highlight of your career? The, the cunt in Dom's, mate. Fucking knows, man. That's that's what that's what keeps you going. Don't trans- give us a nod. Well, it keeps you he, going. He was a big. He was a big guy. I think he was like maybe like Italian. family, like second, third generation Greek, right? Uh, uh, he had well, a big fucking gold bull t- um, necklace. I thought right? you were something else. There. He was like a big fucking man's man, right? A like, Greek, just fucking just dishing out the fucking the food and all that. No even sweating, just working away, and then bizarrely. You know, I moved away from the Shire and I returned, and I seen him. Do- <laughs> I seen him doing so quick show front on a wee fucking mad scooter. He'd lost a leg uh-huh. and all that, and he just zazzing about in the scooter. And he f- know what he said. I think I've told you this before. He recognised me, and he even told us what all my family ordered. That's amazing. He even remembered the fucking what we what we ate. See now, he's like, I, I, I mean, I'm no, I don't, I don't think this is racist. In R.I.P. Don. R.I.P. Don. I think this is pov- positive racism, but. I don't. I wouldn't trust a chippy that isn't Italian or, or Greek. Well, you get the kebab shops that also do chippies, and you're going. Nah, stick to I'm not. No, boys. Nah, stick to no. what you know. But do kebabs is, all day. Professional. That's, that. that's a that's a jack of all trades. It's like when you go to the, you used to go up the one to two, and people go, "Have you been to three and one? I'm going. The only reason you're going there is because it stays open to four in the morning. That's it. Aye. You're not going there. It's like when people used to go to Mister Chips. You like go to Mister Chips. Why? Chips. It's shite. Well, it's shite, but it's open to fucking Aye. half three. It's the only it's reason it. you go. 
it's same way like um what's the one on fucking page that I used for a wee while there? The Sherwood. They've got a wee side panel that they pizzas and kebabs. I've never ventured down that road. I'm no, just sticking for the chips and the you, fish. You would only go to the Sherwood because it was around the corner for you. No, it was actually quoted. It was a good uh, it was a good um, uh, chippy. I always, I always had my doubts about Sherwood because when the first time I went and it comes inside that cardboard box thing, you know, I'm going, this is style over substance. No, guys. I liked that. I thought it was an American. I know, but you think you're fancy. I mean, that's the problem. I always want to go for a chinky. It's in the wee mad fucking I beg your card. pardon? Excuse me? Chinese carry out. It's in the wee <laughs> mad cartoon <laughs> cardboard boxes that you see in all the American shows. It just yeah. looks even tastier. You know, and they just stick the chopsticks. Even though you don't know how to water chopsticks. I'd, you know, I'd like the wee cardboard cartons. And, and if there are any heroes out there that can suggest there's one, there's used to be a, one a succulent, in place, Chin, a succulent Chinese meal. <laughs> this, this. <laughs> mate, there used to be one in Paisley done that, but then you, have, you can get eat your it hands off my penis. <laughs> 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 this I mean, is, what is it? <laughs> Manifest. I don't Fucking know what anyway. you're talking about. That cunt, that silly guy, you get arrested. Who? It's just a mad guy. It's a fucking video, man. I need to upload it. He's getting manhandled the police into a van. He's like, this is a, uh, take your hands off. Take your hand off my penis. <laughs> then he says, I know jujitsu. Ah, very well, very well. <laughs> <laughs> Popping him into the water. Anyway, great times. That's what I thought. Oh, I thought we were Jesus. on the same page there, you know. We need, we need to go, up. see once lockdown's over and we can move freely again. We need to go to a Korean uh, barbecue place. I'm desperate to go, man. I won't go anywhere. And eat Obviously, anywhere. I can't go with the missus because she's veggie, so it'd be wasted right. on her. But it's the one when you sit down inside and it's got the barbecue at the table and they fucking oh yes, yes. The meat on it. right in front of you. Aye, or you cook it for yourself. They can cook it or you can cook it. Oh, and they, they hang it. You cut. You cut it with scissors. You cut all the meat with scissors. Beautiful. Wait, Better right? no get hair on them around. It's just strictly meat scissors. Str- meat scissors. Aye, strictly meat scissors, mate. We need to do that. <sighs> Anyway, if there's any, if there's any uh, heroines out coming. there... The good times are coming. They are, mate. If there's any heroines out there who used to work in a van or a chippy, get in touch. Let us know how you've been. Um, Big that, up, that, sends a that, picture. That would be a good uh, charity calendar. Ex, Ex-chippy workers. Where are they now? Where are they oh, now? Oh, amazing. No, a picture of them back back in the day. No, because then that's slightly... You bit, that's don't know, but that's picture of them the new with maybe a wee con or them holding a wee picture of themselves at a chippy <laughs> van. <laughs> Uh, possibly just just a, just a, just the bib that they wore at the chippy, nothing else, you know, j- j- artistically. Maybe a ten pence uh, mix very, up in one horn. It's very and, niche. And, and, and scuddy DVDs and the other. <laughs> it's very niche Scottish porn that you get your wife to dress up as a chippy worker. <laughs> Listen, I'm what will you do? That fucking check up apron on. It's all fucking aisle in Greece. Get it on sh- sh- and cover yourself in malt vinegar. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> that, what? We fucking cooked the chips not four nights ago. Just splash it in your ears. <laughs> what? And every, what? Every, every now and again when I'm riding, you just shout special fish in. Two in. Right. Tw- 20 in. That's the fish ready. <laughs> Aye. Just shout that. Chips done. Chips done. That's oil's dirty. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. So how you my been? chippy was a f- I'm good, but I'll just to end up the show part, my chippy was the first chippy to have an arcade machine in it. It used to have like a- asteroids, double dragon, Pac Man, Pac Man. Hey, this was this was unbelievable. You just fucking go to the chippy and rattle, and they get rid of it because it was just oils hanging about the chippy. And nobody was buying fud. Everybody's just going into the machines. This is when when arcade games were like fucking right at the movies. Nay, no, nay, no computers are fuck all. They, you he did have a computer, but it never was in arcade quality. You don't want that in a chippy, though, do you? No, you don't. But see, when you're young, you take it I want my chippy. This is what I want in a chippy, right? Right, Scotch want, chippy. Scotch chippy. I want... Big Scots. Big... I call it Franco's, right? Right, of course. I want, I want a long, a long shop, right? Yes. With a kind of L-shape counter, Right? The L going into it or out? Out. So like the L, the L going. So basically, you can you can't even walk to the full end because there's a there's a countertop, mm-hmm. and then you come back around right. And I want obviously all the chippy fronts. So I want one big giant Italian guy or Greek, right? I want the shirt open with a chest yes. hair and Quite some sharp. kind of gold, some kind of gold, right? Subtle a gold bull. That's what my guy wore. Right, wore subtle, it well. nestled in against a big 
hairy chest, right? With jingle, jingle. Beautiful golden tan on him. I want the sleeves rolled up. I want the arms like fucking thighs, like farmer's arms, right? Some gold chains on that. And just burn marks all over the arms, right? Just constantly putting the horn in the hot hang, turning fish over, all sorts, right? Just going. Occasionally, another miniature version of the big fat guy comes out. That's his brother, right? He's, oh, he's, he's in the back doing the fucking chips. And then in that corner of the L, as you walk in, is the nonna, the old Italian woman, just sitting, knitting, or just, just doing nothing, just there. She's just there, just making sure everything's going all right. It Aye. was her man that started it. These are the boys. She still comes down to fucking test the, the pizzas or test she's, the She's still doing to keep an eye that we're doing it. They're doing it. it well, but she's still got nothing to do, so she's hanging about That's the show. Right. So and the then the guy's wife, who has a tiny wee thin thing, which obviously contrasts him being a big fat massive guy. She runs the tilt and then there's three wee lasses doing all the fucking what does he want, mate? That's what you need. That's the ideal, mate. It's the ideal situation. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, I think that would be the greatest chippy on the planet. Um don't you need to talk about the food because we know it's high quality. No, you know, mate, listen, come on now. You know, you know. If there's if it's Italian or, or Greeks, you know, they take pride in it. And like you're saying before about the whole kebabs and chippies, a good chippy just does what it does best. Just does chippies, mate. That's it. Well, can I just bring something up? You gave me a hard time when we done an episode and I was pretty much saying like I was pretty racist when it comes to my food. Mr. Gibson, you no, have just highlighted my plea. You want folk to stick to their own when it comes to cooking. There's slightly no, racist. I, if you're no Italian, <clears throat> don't fucking try and serve me pasta. I fully, I fully agreed with you on that because, like I said, I don't want to go to a Chinese restaurant and not have either Chinese people in it. I don't want, I don't want the vibe. I want the real. I want the, right after boat stuff. Aye, mate. I went. We went to one years ago in the Chinatown in Glasgow, which is probably. The shittest Chinatown of all Chinatowns. Right. On the Are planet, you talking right? about where, whereabouts is the Chinatown Glasgow? Are you talking about the supermarket up the top of the town next no. to the motorway? Siwu. Siwu is brilliant. No, remember the old one that's doing like they used to have the outdoor gold places there as well, like the fucking factory outlet. I it's never knew there was a Chinatown in Glasgow in all the years I stayed there. Anyway, right. So there was a Chinese restaurant. But in there. there just like one Chinese family in the street. No, it's where, see where you know you know see where you've been to see where, aren't you? The big Chinese supermarket. Supermarket, aye. Aye, the mat, like the huge one. Aye, aye, aye. Right. Well, before it was up there, it used to be in another bit of Glasgow. So it basically shut down and moved up there. But when it was doing it, its original spot, there I was like, see where. there was a Chinese restaurant next to it. Obviously, that used to get the stuff for the supermarket, but it's just full aye. of Chinese people. Of like, course, there's, there's no whites in it. So you walk in and you're like. That, you feel like you're in Shanghai, right? right? Fish tanks, everything I expect. Fish tanks, paper lanterns, you know, people with angry faces, everything, right? Guys sitting, kneeling on the top of the stools, right? right yeah, like, if it's that bright, turn the lights down. Smoking away, great. Went in, got the menu, never understood it. I'm going, right, okay, let's give this a go. I said to the woman, never been here, would you suggest anything? She suggested a dish. I got two other things that I thought I recognised. Mate, see when this thing came that she she suggested, I'm I don't even know how to explain this other than the way I'm going to explain it. It was bits of fish covered in spunk. That's it. Sounds great. If you imagine, if you imagine the consistency of spunk, right? Let's cl clear that up for the listeners. Sperm, Scott. Sperm. Man Ejac sperm. Ejaculate. Man milk. Ej ejaculate juice. Right. You know. You know. You know. Everyone's everyone's seen it. Everyone knows what I'm yeah. talking about. Cock the wax. The consistency, <laughs> uh, baby batter. You know the consistency of spunk. Yeah, imagine that, but imagine a liter, a liter of spunk pulled over the fish, pulled over the top of this. Wow, fish. that's no, that's no. You're not selling it. I couldn't, mate. I couldn't eat it. I couldn't physically put it in my mouth. And then we sat for an hour, and I'm panicking, going, "I need to eat some of this because it's going to be disrespectful." And knowing you're going to shut it out in about three seconds. So I left, and it was, it was terrible. But in fairness, I have been to other uh, authentic places, and it's been. It's been wonderful. No, spunky fish like, has been amazing. I think, I think we're agreeing on that. If I go to a Chinese place, yeah, I want Chinese people. If I go to an Italian place, I want Italians. If I go Did to a French place, eat, I want French. Want French? Nah, you don't. You don't want any cunt kid not to be somebody else. No. Did you ever eat in the Canton Express up on Sucky Hall Street before they fucking shut it down? I did not. It was fucking incredible, and it was open. Like, I think it was open all night, but they had a recipe. Uh, a uh, menu. Oh no, I did for the boys right after the boat, and then the menu for just drunk fucking Scottish folk. I but uh, you know how the the drunk Scottish mate again, that that felt like a place where people used to come out the garage and just go in there because it was open. Aye, 
But then there was, there was a tables up the back. It just looked like fucking the scene out of Deer Hunter. You know, just all the boys like fucking <laughs> angry up the back, eating brilliant food. Playing cards. Po- I possibly playing fucking, what'd you call that game? R- Russian roulette. Russian roulette. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly gambling. I don't know. High stakes are high, but I just go the while they're eating. Battled crab. There, there was one that used to be around the corner for the stand. It was fucking brilliant. That's the first time I had soft shell crab. Was in that place. It was great. Hey, so you get soft shell crab done, right? My God. Sure, but I see if you walk in the place, right, and, and the woman comes. So they give you the tea. So see if you don't know that you're getting tea. Straight away, the clock can go. These cunts are assholes, right? So I went with a mate of mine who actually works on boats, who's, who's travelled the world. So. And he's he's sound like he knows everything about everything, but he's Disney put it in your face. Like, you know, one of these people's like, I've actually been to Goa and uh, nah, just in cool. Indonesian junk. He's just like, Yeah, mate, listen, they're gonna come in with fucking tea, right? It's just it's just watered down tea. I was like, What? Like, tea at least? I went, no, it's I've like, been to Goa, man, just get mad. It's like, it's like jing, jing, like, ah. he says, Just turn the wee cup over and fucking drink it. That's it, right? It's just watered down tea. It's fucking it's right, but it's, it's really just watered down tea, I, I, right? I so, like boom, it. drinking it. And he says, Try to blend she, in. See, she's coming over. He goes like to me, what are you getting? I went, probably just a chicken curry. He went, do not fucking ask her for a chicken <laughs> Do not ask her for a chicken curry. He went, I'm so not sitting here. Now, he's flexing. I'm not he's... sitting here if you eat a chicken curry. I was like, what? He went, I'll order for you. And bang, mate... bang, 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 <laughs> 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 Swabby car. See the shit he ordered, mate? It was unreal. That, so I had soft shell crab. I had some kind of duck thing uh, and something else. And then he ordered this thing that was like fucking liver and hearts or something. I went, nah, that's too much for me. But... It, oh, you knew it, it. it. You woke up in you his what, bed. One, next morning, he'd say ass, and you're like, that was some night, Brian. Mate, what a curry. It's, it's one of these things where the, the cuisine is, is so interesting, I think, because it's so guarded, because we know so little of it. <coughs> Even all the vegetables and that, they use different. But, um, that was like a big dildo, mate, and a big white well, I was just up. I've, I've been watching a lot of... Uh, how, uh, how, how disrespectful must that be about every time we got the Chinese supermarket, we're pure pushing ourselves laughing. Fuck you, what is that thing? Well, they must could, be sitting going, Look at these cunts. See, Chinese supermarket. I, I got in, I got in a, 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 a wee fucking mission to make uh, Chinese at home, and then I went up there to get all the ingredients, you know, like the what is it, the nut oil and all that kind of shit that they use, and oh, aye. stuff like that just gives you fucking food the authentic taste, obviously, here because you're raising the right fucking ingredients. And I took Maria and Maria's aunt who's an elderly Italian, South Italian woman, didn't speak a word of fucking English, took her and Maria to the Chinese supermarket and she was absolutely fucking disgusted. Because, disgusted? Right, she's never left Italy, right? And I've took her to a fucking Chinese supermarket. So right off the boat, she's like seen things, she's no idea what the fuck it is, so it might as well be alien. It was alien to her. And, and she just couldn't fucking, couldn't get her head around it. And then I bought all the ingredients. I'm, I'm in my element. I'm loving it. I'm buying tons of stuff. And I was telling her all about it. I'm going to make you the best fucking... I am going to make you the best listen, Chinese listen, it's stir fry. Mega cheap, man. Right? Mega cheapo. Cheapente. Listen, I can get fucking 6,000 eggs for a fiver. Mega cheapento, you know? Talk to your mother, Maria. Stick your ravioli up your farter. <laughs> I'm making stir fry the next. <laughs> so it was, it was a rant. So it took it, but anyway, I was, I was in my helmet. Rushed him. We made it that night. She never ate a fucking thing because she'd see me when it came for. I hope but that's just that old school fucking oh, racism. racism. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was talking about this this morning, right? Kiss-kifo. That's what she kept saying. Kiss I mean, that's disgusting. Kiss-kifo. I was talk- talking to the missus this morning. But I- See everything that's happening now in the world where things like stop Asian hate and and looking about hate speaking, understanding cultures and people. Just speak, drop the hate. Speak. Just drop the hate, yo. Just don't hate. Appreciate. Yeah, I like it, mate. See if you, honest to God, sometimes I think we forget like how you know how developed we are. See if you go to some parts of France, some of the most racist fuckers you'll ever meet in your life. Parts of Germany, oh. parts of Italy, like some parts of mainland Europe are some of the worst fucking racism you'll ever know. You, you go to any part, see if you go to France outside of one of the main cities, like outside of Paris, Lyon, fucking Mars- Marseille, you go to one of these wee villages, they're all like, who's, who's that? Have you got a tan, mate? Are you? They're horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Very but much like your mother-in-law. You know, what can I say? We are uh, pretty much in the, in the world spotlight, and uh, that's why the focus is on us. Listen, as long as you're not a cunt, as long as you're not a cunt, we don't care. Yeah, exactly, as long as you pay we, as long, subscription. Hey, as long in, as fact, not, in fact, we're as talking as to the unsubscribed here. 
We're talking we're to we're the talking. great, the great unsubscribed. Oh my god, my uh, god! The last, the last uh, hashtag hero episode was an absolute wee cracker. So it was. So if you're, I mean, at this back point, to it. it was good, wasn't it? Oh mate, it was packed from the start to the know, end. It was, it was possibly one of the most loaded shows we've done, kicking right off with Hitler's fucking bunker. I being really possibly the first I man really cave loved, slash lodge. I really loved the, the Hitler bunker chat. I was obviously listening back to that making the wee video. I, that really it tickled me. I laughed. I really enjoyed some it. Funny bits there, but then it doesn't let up. Because I've listened, I've went out for a, you know, I went out for a, a good couple of walks here, you know. I was about DIY, had it on the headphones, listened to it all, you know, start to finish. There was a couple of bits, you know, really had a laugh, Scott. So thank you, and Scott, if you, for, if you're for, not for, yet, for hash, if you're you not yet a hashtag hero, um, please do become so. Four pound a month, you can sign up for as little as four pounds a month, one pound a week, gets you access to every single episode, including all of the special content. Go to the hashtag show.co.uk or go to patreon.com forward slash the hashtag show, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash the hashtag show. Right, uh, come on, to fuck, it's coming to month end, splash out, fucking help the boys out. And listen, we'll be honest with you, we keep all the good stuff for the hero episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Should we? Should we tease it? We're going to have some merch coming as well. I've actually just received... Well, can, I just, the, uh... can I just show off uh, oh, yes. your merch, first yes, of all? Yes, yes, Look at that. Quarantine quiz. Uh, I've received this. Uh, uh, yeah. And then spin room. Look at that on the back. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Ah, oh, lovely, jubbly. Lovely, jubbly. Um, luckily, those of you who are watching on Facebook, uh, modelling the uh, Quarantine Quiz t-shirt, uh, only available from my website, Scott, bigscottgibson.com uh, go and snatch up got a few left um, if you're a small you're done there's none left a few mediums and we got up to double XL grab one I have to say I'm an XL it's a good fit I like it yeah, great fit but care. we I've actually as we are on air recording I've just received the first uh, mock-up for the uh, hashtag t-shirt actually oh, beautiful. Emailed it, actually emailed it over to you there Maloka Okay, uh, you uh, to... well, we're also keeping this off here, but uh, you know, on, have uh, a, wee, a wee look, yeah. Live, live on air, we're luckily oh, here, oh, having me look at the have, mock-up. I don't have any emails there, Scott, uh, unfortunately. Pretty pretty sure I did say you that one, but luckily there's... Okay, no subject, no subject, okay. Loads of info. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now that's, that's a lot going on there. Is this a back or a front print? I uh, think that would be a back with a hashtag oh. badge on the front. Holy fuck. It's a beauty. The Chicago way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And what's going to go in the front? Some kind of hashtag show badge. I think we keep the front maybe like maybe even just a hashtag. Simple as to, to, to tie in with it. That's fucking class. The fact that it's a back print and then there's oh that's just we'll keep that. That's fucking lovely. That's gold. So that that will be coming soon. Obviously, we've got hashtag merch will be offered out to the heroes first. It's only fair. Uh we're you, gonna be doing you could, you could make a fucking dish plate out of that as well. We could. A dish we towel. Could. That would be a fucking wonderful dish towel. A fucking wonderful dish towel. Wonderful. I mean, there's nothing better than, you know, like <laughs> tightening a dish towel up and <laughs> flicking your wife's ass with it, you know. <laughs> hey, you must that bit there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, 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 you know, I'm, I, yeah, so many oh. hashtags there. <laughs> He's excited. Look at his wee face. Look at his little face. Anyway, the hashtag Beautiful. T-shirt is a, it'll be a limited edition run. It will be available to Heroes first. So if you want a chance to get that and listen to all the content, uh, become a hero uh, at patreon.com forward slash the hashtag show. Go to the hashtag show.co.uk for all the links. And uh, at this point, if you listen, listen, if you've listened to all the episodes, become a hero, man. Sign up, subscribe, help the show, help us grow. And um, for those of the heroes that are on the top tier, we're going to be doing something for you guys very soon as well. So watch out for that. And we've but, also uh -huh. found, yeah. you might have said that while I was reading all these hashtags, but we've also found, and we will be doing some hashtag mugs. We thanks to be. one of the heroes that hooked us up. Yes, thank you for that. Beautiful, um, beautiful chat. What beautiful have you, chat. what have you been up to? And you want to, have you seen the, uh, uh, have you seen the, the cruise liner or the tanker that's stuck in the Suez Canal? Uh, well, I, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it, you know. <laughs> I'm aware it's, of it, you know, hard. in my global news. This is news. why I love this show. It doesn't age because there's nothing topical in it because you don't watch any fucking news whatsoever. And, and that, I, I take that sacrifice for the show. You know, I, I keep know my head in the sand so as we can just, you know, we can listen back to any episode and you're just like, I could be talking about it. Completely timeless, man. No, but I'll tell you what, has been in the news in my fucking house. Oh, here we go. The boy thinks he's fucking Bear Grylls and he's been fucking boiling eggs in the kettle, right? Fuck knows why oh. you're going to that one, right? 
Wow, okay. Your old dad had a fucking cup of tea and all that <laughs> eggs fucking cracked in it. And it was all the no. kind of spunky bits of egg. No. I was like, I was like what the fuck's this? I've locked an egg. I locked as if somebody shot a load in it. Also, you know, the muck, you yeah. boil a couple of eggs in it. And I was like, what? I was like, you know, I was thinking to myself, what the fuck? What's going so on he's here? Not, he's not even cleaned the kettle. No. Then he just drifted to him. Oh, man, I've been boiling the eggs in the kettle. And I was like, don't fucking do that again and I'll break the only horn that he is. <laughs> Do you know, I mean, like, see when you think back to being a teenager and there's just that idea of just telling my dad straight up, I have been boiling eggs, as if no no concept of that could be an issue at all. I, I, oh, well, no, I'll tell you how we caught them. <laughs> Fucking Maria went to make me a cup of tea and there was actually an egg in there that he actually made and forgot to eat and he just what fucking left it in there. What so she's boiled, the, ke- boiled the, the kettle for a cup of tea and then went, what the fuck's this? And it was a egg, and he's like, oh, and that's when I went, what the fuck are you doing? I'm boiling eggs in the kettle. I was like, ah, and then I was thinking, I was drinking fucking, and it was all that cum oil. No, I was like, no, I came in your cup of tea before I gave you it, nah. and I went, all oh, right, fuck sake. Why is he boiling eggs in the kettle? This is just something he's fucking bare grills. He's this probably the same kind of guy do a fucking steak in a toaster. I, lo- I love the fact that he thinks he's bare grills, but then stays at home, he's mon dad rent free, who is fucking bold, ha- <laughs> fucking half bold. Do you know what I mean? Well, well cheers, after. Cheers. I'm fucking surviving in my own man boiling eggs. He's, he's, uh, he fucking camped out there. Maybe that's what put him in. And mon- he's, he, mate, he's just he's, bold. He's, he's, in applying, he's applied for two jobs in the RAF, and I was like, hey, man, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> Aye. I said, do you know what the RAF, you're, you're going away working and that? He went, it's better than here, isn't it? Mate. I went like, all right, bro, you fucking what, magic. What do you think the RAF is? The Rangers Academy for Freedom Fighters. <laughs> no, it's not, mate. The Royal Air Force, not, isn't it? I'm, I'm getting deployed in London, Derry. No, mate, mate. I'll oh, soft you stop me there, right? His boy's a Catholic, right? And he's, <laughs> and he's went to a Catholic school, right? So he's the one of the boys, man. No, mate, he he's, can infiltrate. He's he can half. infiltrate. No, mate, he's raised. He's raised but a, a brother of the boot, the brother of the brush. I've tried. I've tried <laughs> to get him to know. I've tried, man. I've tried to him fucking... I'm just my, trying, man. Get my Joe boiling eggs down the lodge. I'm going to get, bla- get blackboard, man, if I don't get that boy down there before he's 21, man. Now I'm thinking, is it? can you actually boil an egg in the kettle? Yes, you can. So what, you just put it on and that's it's you cooked? You fucking stick it in and boil boom. it twice? No. That can't be right. Boil it twice if you... Hey, I, I've no ate them. He eats it all the time. He was eating them all the time. And I had to stop him. But I said, and then I did go, what, can you fucking do that? And he went, oh, hi. <laughs> you do it twice if you want it hard boiled, and once if you just want a runny egg. I don't, I don't like runny eggs, mate. Yeah, I like, I like eggs. So I used to watch this program called Inside the Mind of a Chef, right? Mm-hmm. And mate, it was fucking brilliant. Can't get it anywhere. Netflix took it off. Can't find it. Right? Devastated. He, what was the black top one show? Well, I he did a wee thing about the Jews and that, and then. I mean, the boy's Korean, so it was never going to last, but... This is what we used to cook in our shoots. It's a different... <laughs> Can't be boiling pot now, those wee soak, man. Fucking shut it down. It's um, it's a different chef every series. There's like six series of them. But one of the guys in it who... Um, David Chang, who's a new, a big, massive chef. He was the first series. David's known his real first name. And he's uh, it's Davidoff. And he was dead in this episode where he brings his pal in, right? Uh, what, I think his name is Willie Dufresne. What a name. But he makes this thing where it's eggs Benedict deconstructed, right? Right. So because they've obviously got a big fancy restaurant in New York, he he then leaves people to run the restaurant and he does all this fucking mad stuff, right? Tries to make new shit. dishes and shit, right? But what he was saying was they took they took a year to study the egg. So I'm like, this that's, just bull- that's bullshit, but, but chat it's but then, for you. But then all they've got to do is make this one dish. So they took inspiration for this Spanish boy who made this dish called the egg, right? And it's basically a, an it's basically an egg. an egg, right? It's an egg shell. How fucking pretentious is so that? So he makes he makes a shell, right, out of some some fucking anthium gum that you can eat, mm-hmm. and then big they boy, crack it, boy. right? They crack it so you can actually open it up, and then inside is like uh, a custard, some kind of mousse thing, and loads of other shit. And when you eat it, it's like maybe the greatest thing you'll ever eat. Right? And it's called the egg, right? So they're talking about this thing and how they're studying it. But I like this guy because he made this dish, deconstructed eggs, eggs Benedict, right? So he basically takes a tube of, you know, like when they sous vide meat, when they put it inside the bag and they seal it. Mm-hmm. So he gets a. Oh. 
You want to change that fucking scabby blue lead that you've had for four years? Gary mate, Walter Smith gave this lead. So he makes that. <laughs> <laughs> he makes that. Used to, used to be I, got, mate, I got this lead out of DJ Box or iBox. He makes a, a <laughs> tube out of this bag, right? And then they fill the bag with egg yolks. So it's just basically an orange tube, right? It's just egg yolks that are in it. And then they cook it in a water bath at different temperatures. So he's telling you what happens at all the different temperatures. And he gets this perfect temperature. It's like 70 degrees for 20 minutes, whatever. And it makes the egg yolk kind of like a toffee consistency. So it's cooked, but it's not. And that, see, whenever I cook an egg, like a fried egg or a po- that's the way I like my egg yolk. Almost kind of, you know, that kind of toffee way. Like, like the it's twilight zone to- of cooking. It's no hard, but it's no soft. It's just about to, you know, you know, we just fucking love it. And he, he smears it on this plate. And I'm every, 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 every time I think about it, I'm going, I bet you that fucking do something amazing, man. Well, I'd just be like, mate, I just want fucking eggs, Benedict. I'm fucking starving your clothes. Get on my plate. <laughs> so the other one was they're talking about how things come from waste, right? And how people have made these dishes from throwing shit away. And one of the women who was on it, talks about how she basically cooks octopus in red wine, which is an Italian dish. Your missus has probably had that in her lifetime. And I love octopus, man. She takes the stock from cooking this octopus in red wine, and then the same stock is used in three other dishes. So by the time it gets to the third dish, the stock's been cooked four times, and it's this, this really intense stock that's then used. So they're talking about how you take one thing and make any loads of stuff. So they, they've got a famous thing in David Chan's restaurant is this mushroom crisps. And he's talking about how he makes this uh, dashy reduction for his ramen and he put loads of mushrooms in it. And then when they're left with all the mushrooms is inside the, the sieve and they were just going to bin it because it's shite. And he's like, don't bin it. Let's see what we can do with it. Stuck it on a tray, put it in a dehydration thing and then turned it into crisps. And he's like, it's the most mushroom tasting crisp you'll ever have in your life and the guy's eating it going he's the fucking dynamite and I'm like that's pure mind blowing man I love that stuff it just I, shows you I can how see you different we are me. man <laughs> no because you're watching that you know what I've been watching some fucking skinny guy with a beard stuffing his face it's called like fucking man with a beard eats food he's got his own <laughs> channel and he just eats fucking oh, shit you would not believe man yeah, what you put somewhere. that stuff's horrible hey listen I find myself Mate, I, well, I, I got him, attracted to watching him, him fucking stuff nah, his face. That's because you've got a weird fetish. I watched him eat a big breakfast once, and I almost was sick watching it. It's it, it, he's it, at one point he sat with thirty-six inch pizzas. Mate, he sat with two full sausages and dunked them in water, and then fucking just. And he's he got this technique. He's a, he actually forces the fid right down into the back. He's fucking he's all the time rancid. stuff. I know, right? But then I think to myself, he's he's not a big fella. He's just like fucking normal build and I'm going he is walking away for that and throwing all that up there's no way he's digesting uh, that and getting no. on his day or he, he sh- I bet he's not done a solid shite in about 10 years it's just slurry the the calorie content w- he done this other challenge where there's a, there's a girl who does of fishes, it he ate the most fillet of fishes ever ate there's, there's a girl who does it as well and she's like same as him like Guinness Book of Records so the two of them are the two British ones um, but she's just like him, like she's very like well, but like does bodybuilding. Well, not bodybuilding, but works out a lot because look at bulimia. They fucking eat and puke up, guaranteed. They've got man. to maintain it. But then she does things like where it's like the last, the last one she done was the 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 uh, Guinness record of eating a cucumber, and I'm like, why? Yeah, that's about that? sex. I know, but I'm going. Why would you do that, man? Move. But you're just opening yourself up to all the idiot. Like, why do it? Just don't do it. I just don't get. <sighs> Some of the challenges that where the guy goes to eat, I go, how about the mind actually going there and just fucking eating that? Forget trying to date in a rush, just munching it because it looks amazing. And then during while he's flinging out his mouth, you're going, mate, this is just fucking rancid. But then it's you the ones when he eats I, the I burgers and they're about this high, and you're like, how can you eat that? He done and one just... kind of steak thing, a steak challenge, and the amount of fucking meat that he ate. I know. It, it, it was getting it was getting the sweats and all that. And then the, the maddest one that I seen him do, it was just a fucking tube of nuts, right? And his challenge, it was the hottest nuts in the world or something. It was to do two at a time and eat them on. There was only like fucking 10 nuts. It was to do two at a time. And then after he's ate them, wait five minutes. Uh, that's before, the worst bit, the burn. He fucking couldn't do it. It's the only I, thing I've seen him couldn't do it, man. And he looked, I honestly thought, and he was like... He's like, well, I can't actually feel my arms now. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> Mate, I have lost all feelings on my fingers. And I'm getting worried now. I'm getting worried now. Get the milk, get the ice cream on, Prep. Oh, oh. And he's, 
<laughs> I kept looking at that, and I'm going, holy fuck, man, they nuts must be fucking gunpowder. So I, w- I watched one the other day, it's, it's three steps, so the first, it's three boys, right, and they've got to, do, they've got to show the poker face, basically, so they've got to eat something hot, and no let it known that it's hot, and if they get it, they get a point, right, and whoever gets the most points wins. So the first one's just a, a hot, a chicken wing and sriracha, so they're eating that, and they're like, ah, that's okay, fine, each got a point. Next one was a, a mahi tuna roll, so like sushi, but it's got like tuna with this hot sauce in it, right, this called fucking like apocalypse hot sauce. So the guy's eating and he's like, fucking hell, man, that's pretty hot. I do it. Guess what the next one? It's a Bloody Mary. No, the next one was popcorn. And they're like, what? He went, I bet the popcorn's coated in this butter and this fucking suicide sauce. So he's eating that. And he's it's making, the, the, name, isn't it? the guy's in agony, but he says to him, once you've eaten the popcorn, there's only like a tiny bit of popcorn, right? But once you've eaten it, you've got to sit for a minute. See these cunts trying to sit for one minute, man. One of the boys just tapped out and like, put his hand in the yogurt and just smash yogurt into his face by trying to get it off his lips. And it's then the mad. last the last one was a Bloody Mary where they put this fucking, I don't know what the name it was, but it's like the hottest chilli sauce on the planet and you're only meant to put one drip in it and it's got three drips in it. So the first guy takes a big massive drink and taps it. The second guy took one drink, mate, and then like flings his cell back and he's, he's like, my throat, my, it's like, my throat's closing. And you can see him really freaking out. He's pure trying to down milk him. And I'm like, I, I don't particularly enjoy spicy food. I don't mind hot food. Hot I'm, food. I, 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 I'm not a wee bit of it, but no, I wouldn't want to punish myself. So they've got this guy who's on the show, right? Uh, one of them's a chef and the other three are like just his pals kind of thing. And he's saying like, the when you eat chilies, like when you eat hot food, you're uh, there's no heat in it. There's no actual, there's no physical heat in a chili. It's the, the enzymes that are in it attack the pain receptors in your brain so your 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 body thinks that you're under attack and it manifests that feeling in your mouth as heat mm-hmm. so that's how chilies get that warm sensation in you that's how your face starts fucking it's melting it's not out. actually warm it's your just a chemical not, reaction your body thinks that it's under attack like why would but, you want to eat that I know and this is the thing I'd like to see the video after it when they've got stomach cramps on night and they're shit through an eye and needle Mate, the, I don't know I don't want to see grown men do shites but that's what they've got a night or two of that in there ahead of them it's not just oh, like that was mate. great fun and then they're no. up the road for a pint same with the boy that's eating fucking half a ton of meat they should fucking shit that'd be like passing a gun wrapped in a sock as the old saying goes that would be the worst shit of his life man that's oh, like a just Guinness like shite times a million a fist aye nay just just fucking a pure solid but, brick <laughs> So here's the thing, right? He did, he did, he did one challenge, and it, I think it was a, a big breakfast challenge or something like that, and he smashed it. And then he was like, "That was actually really good." He goes, "I heard you do cheesecake. Can I have some cheesecake?" And he actually ate a cheesecake, and I was going, "You fucking hungry fucking cunt!" Then I'm going, "Is he? Is he actually digesting that? Walking away like after the great meal? No, he's no. no. He's getting out of the back of your van, and that van is covered in tarpaulin." And he's I taking just, his drawers down and he's just fucking shitting all over the van. I lying there. I pipe. In the fetal position, greeting. Ah, I'm a famous yet, yeah, Dad. Uh, I'm I've a got famous a million, yet. A million, a million subscribers. Aye, but, fucking shitting all over his van. It's, it's, it's fucking, it's no big and it's no clever, man. He's definitely getting. There's, there's, go, there's a comp. Your body can't take that. Your fucking body no. can't do that. So no. the, what, where's the no, price? Where's he suffering for that? What's uh, is he got? He's got a normal diet through the week, and then maybe once a week he's just gone nuts. It's like the guys. See when you talk about these famous magicians. So there's like two or three guys who like are, are masters at every trick or every illusion, right? And there's one where the uh, the guy eats. You hear, seen this with he, he swallows goldfish. Aye. So the guy David Blaine done it on Joe Rogan's podcast where he drinks like fucking four liters of water. And then he'll swallow a goldfish and then he'll drink more water and more water and then he'll fucking regurgitate the goldfish and the goldfish is still alive. So but it's inside it his stomach. His tongue or something. No, he swallows it, it's like in his stomach, but it like, survives in the water and then he regurgitates the goldfish back up. So he's doing it and he's drinking it and he's and then he can regurgitate all the water, like bring the water straight back up. But he's talking about this guy who made it famous and saying, like, he died eventually because the damage done his body. Another guy would drink water and then drink paraffin. And then like shoot fucking flames out, but eventually he died because of the damage he done to his body. If if you're eating like even if you're doing one of them a week, think of the fucking damage that does to you. Just constantly even, piling even it. Even if in. you're puking it back up, I mean you're still man, that'd be more damage for you than just allowing it to 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 commit your ass. If you already vomit all that back up, 
and you're you're vomiting once twice a week, that's worse for you than and it's like people who have got eating disorders if you're bulimic. It's not necessarily what you consume, it's, it's the amount that you're sick, because then that starts to break down your, your digestive system, your teeth start to rot. It, it's the constant vomiting that's the, the issue. Do you think he's like a kind of sword swallow where his actually throat hatches wider than most folks, so they, then he can just fuck it? You know how you get the folk that just go, ah, they can open their throat a certain way and it's a pink, disappeared. Uh, he's got great, that thing with... Great. Every group should have one of them. Uh, <laughs> but every, everybody, everybody grew up with some a sword swallowing like, technique. Down a bottle of, <laughs> they get down a bottle of beer or whatever in like two seconds. Um, my mate, Big Craig, used to let like, swirl like that to do like the wee fucking tornado hanging in. Shimmy the whole, you know, how'd you fucking do it? I don't know, I just don't know. It's, it's on a tornado vibe. Just open the throat, right. man. Is that the tornado bit just part of the theatrics? No, because like, you know, when you need to empty bottles, of, like, see if you're ever. I'm trying to think of what you would do. So, like, if you're cleaning out, why would you be cleaning bottles? But see if you ever need to get liquid out of a bottle really fast. You basically just see when you start pouring, you spin the bottle, so it creates a vacuum. So the the, the liquid will almost stop flowing for like half a second, and then it'll gush out because it's the it's the seal on it that creates this kind of a vortex, if you like, and then the the liquid will come rushing it. Mate, stick with Gibbo, man. I'll tell you all sorts of mad shit. It blew my mind. I don't. I, I like the idea of going and being like a, a, a like a food journalist, like going out for your fancy dinners. I don't enjoy the idea of like doing like a man versus food, like sitting eating pure no. horrendous amounts of food. Ah, can of do it, man. Can of do it. But I, I've, bizarrely, I've been watching shit like that. You know, you didn't, when, you didn't like the deck. Did you? <laughs> when I'm doing a shit. <laughs> No, you know what? I started watching that blow. I think mean, now there's that fucking thing he's raving about. Get it on, and within three seconds, it's the same as your fucking. I just knew. It's, you know, you've got this artistic side to you, then you've got this trailer trash side to you. That's man, you RuPaul's you Drag Race culture. below deck. Mate, RuPaul's Drag Race is brown, apart from the British one. I stand by that. Well, the the below deck thing within. It, I watched about great. two or it's three episodes, great. and I, I know what I'm thinking drama, is, when are these bugs trash. getting fucking pumped? But that's your problem. You can't watch something unless it's got midgets, explosion, or shagging in it. No, but you just knew they birds were damaged danger birds. They're, they're out for a, <laughs> but that's what makes for a good it, time. That's what makes it a good show because you know that normally in every series they've got at least one person on it that's psychotic. We just finished watching the sixth series last night and it's got one of the mentalist women on the boat out of all the series. It's great. She's screaming I mean, at they're, people. They're all quite mental, aren't they? I mean, oh, you would I... need to be fucking mental to be shacked up in that wee space just being a housewife in a, in a fucking nautical prison. I also couldn't handle the guests talking to you like a piece of shit. Like, well, I know it's that, that, a couple of them were really arsy, weren't they? Like, mate, that it's just every single one of them that's on the show who's a, who's a guest who charters the yachts, they're just trash. They're genuine white trash Americans. Do you think they've been tell? Listen, give them a hard time. We're filming it here. We really want to see out. I think they've been prepped. No, I don't, I don't know if they've pushed them. I, we think that they've been given it at a discount. That's what we think. We think they've got it at a discount because there's a film crew on it, and so that's going to attract a certain. Type. Like, so I've I've looked up the boats, right? So the first two series, that boat is one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a week's charter. One hundred and fifty thousand. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars. No, right. Here's here's my Fuck thing. Me, a lot of them don't go on it for a week. A lot of them go on for two or three days, right? But even if you took that for a week, right? Hundred and fifty thousand, a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's a disgusting amount of money, right? But break that down. There's ten adults on it. That's all your food, all your drink, all your excursions. Everything's covered in that hundred and fifty grand. Still a disgusting amount of money. But if you were to go and fly first class, for example, London to somewhere in the Bahamas where you can get that, a first class ticket's costing you more than fifteen grand. So if you split that between tennies, if you if you're a wealthy person, fifteen grand for a week of all you can eat and all you can drink, probably isn't that much. No, for us, for us, that is a year salary. That's a stupid amount of money. money. I'd want to be able to just go into the, the fucking staff's cabins, pump them all, pump the captain, pump anybody anytime. That's the problem. That's the problem. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure there is boats where you could do that. Aye, that's so gonna go, if I had that money, pay that. I would just presume, oh, you 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 know, anytime I could chat with cabin door. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going after a sandwich. Again, I think that, that could cause some issues. But if, if, if you were charting that for a week... Um, I would I even mean, be doing things like, right, you pump him, don't you? <laughs> and I'll just watch. See, what do you mean? I'm paying for this boat and use. I own everything here. <laughs> I'm God, don't you? 
that's my problem with it, is that the people who charter it think that they own the staff. I'm like, you, you still have, you've still got to have, uh, you know, just be decent people and have respect. I have the way some that, respect. Aye. The way that some of them speak to them is absolutely fucking disgusting, man. Like, absolutely disgusting. But again, everybody who's on the show is white trash. So it's people who have came into money or somehow go, or on the last season, there's like, she's there with daddy's credit card and she is the worst human being that's ever existed. She's working in a boat with daddy's credit card? No, she's the one that charters it and it's daddy's oh, okay. money that's paying for it and she is fucking An scum, asshole. man. All the pals are fighting each other. It's amazing to watch, but you just think people like that actually exist. It's horrible. Right? You're, going I, I on, feel... you're going on a five-star yacht, right? It's a super yacht, right? We've all seen them in the movies or whatever. It's a super yacht and these fucking white trash Americans are going and asking a, a Michelin star level chef, can you make his burgers? He's like, what? Could you do quesadillas? Are you fucking shitting me here? There's like the finest food on this boat. I oh, he's saying better on restaurant quality, Michelin stuff. But then again, I, I looked at it and I just thought to myself, right, that's the ultimate fucking symbol of wealth, right? That's powered by insecure fucking maniacs. Of course, eh? Filled with fucking flawed individuals that have just got too much money. So when you break it all down, it's actually quite a fucking sad display of fucking humanity. Mate, one hundred percent. But that's what makes it amazing. That's what. That's what. If you watch these programs and you think, if your first thought is, "Oh my god, I wish I could charter a yacht and live that life," you're fucked. If your thought watching that is, these people are scum, and this is an insight into how very insecure, very unhappy people actually spend their money. A lot of them who are on there, the people who they bring on as guests, they don't even like them. They're just friends with them because they've got money and because they take them in a boat. It's it's sad to watch, but in the same sense, you don't feel sad for them because nine times out of ten, they're fucking disgusting people or they're cunts. Mm. So you think, fuck them. I hope you've all been struck by COVID and your businesses have gone under. So if you've rattled it, you've fucking done six seasons yet? Six seasons, mate. Two to go. Two seasons fuck left. Me, it's brilliant. See, when you get in it, honestly, it's fucking brilliant. But I was thinking, I wonder... I wonder if it is an investment. Like, I wonder if, say you had 100 million, right? Say you got 100 million in the bank. Oh, so fucking 100 so million now. Overnight, you've lost 20 million, right? So you've only got 100 million left, right? How how you lost overnight 20 million? Well, because you've got 120 odd million to do in the bank, haven't you? Was it 126 as you had? So let's just say, for argument's sake, say, say we win the Euro millions, right? Me and you win the Euro millions, we half it, we've got 100 million. I just thought, here, Gibble, you keep that, son, because I'm sort of. I wonder if, because obviously you're going to get like advice on investments and you're, you're going to have, you if you had that kind of wealth, you would have access to stuff we don't. So you'll get like, you know, personal advisors and investing people and going, listen, if you invest in this, and da, 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 that'll help your money grow. I wonder how much money is in having a yacht, because these yachts are obviously owned by people. I then you need to keep it serviced. And I know that's what I'm saying. And... Is, is it worth it or is it not worth it? Well, it is if you're... And that's probably how a lot of them are rented out at those prices because it helps towards the running costs. Then when the guy who actually owns the yacht goes, you know, I think I'll take the Sebastian of the Sea out for a, for a couple of weeks with the family. Well, see it's the, ready to go. In one of the episodes, they 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 are up. They almost crash into this super yacht, right? Which is apparently is the fastest super yacht in the world, right? Can't even remember the name yet. It's got a uh, motorized mass. So it's got these big four fucking giant masts that touch your button, everything shoots up. $500,000 to charter for a week. Beautiful. <laughs> Mate, that, who the, f first of all, who is doing it's a different, this? It's a different league. I would look at. See, see if you had that kind of money, right? Uh huh. See if I had that kind of money, my head would be wasted, right? Because I'd be going into the bank thinking, I could get a blowjob off any line of last year. Oh, what is, what is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? Yeah, listen, I'm loaded, right? So what is that you blowjob? No, I'm a professional. I'm here to do a business. I know, but I'm fucking meant it. <laughs> how, did you, how did you make all your money? I've got 16 ice cream vans. It doesn't make any sense, but I sell hammers like cocaine. I, I would just be going like that. <laughs> Screaming boobs and all that. What are you doing? I'll take you to court. Do it, man. Here's fucking 20 grand. Fuck off. Mate. I will sue every penny you have. Aye, yeah, you've been I've in the jail. millions, man. I've got millions. In the jail, I'll fucking buy it, man. Some guys, a big what guys are going to pump me in the jail. I'll fucking buy them, man. Huh? No, but you, they, they, they don't that, care about money. They'll just actually kill you. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. I'll if you had that kind it. of money, you'd be in the jail like in, a man. in a matter of weeks. But imagine, yeah. imagine. I mean, spending, that's, that's just a cheeky mal joke in there. Imagine you know, spending half, half a million pound 
to rent a boat, not even own it, to rent it. It's it's in, that, what what I can't understand is that that see what I'm trying to say is see after Spent the it, year, see after the year we've been through, right? Well, like literally, like I mean, scraping when by pennies are fucking, on fucking. I mean, literally scraping by on pounds, right? There are people who who exist in this world who could spend half a million dollars on a boat and it make no dent in them. So my, what I can't understand is why do we not find these people and just kill them? Just kill these people and take their money. They because have had, they've had some time living the life. It's no time to redistribute what, a the wealth. A punch. Aye, kill them all. Find the 1% and kill them all. Listen, I'm the legal expert there, but I think problems may arise. What problems would arise? Because then once you take it off them mm -hmm. and try to distribute the wealth, the people who are distributing the wealth, the wealth then become the targets. No. And therefore, lies. everybody the gets the exact same. Scott everybody gets the exact same. Burn. Everyone gets the same percentage. Everyone gets Listen, the same. I'm all, I'm all for just hitting that zero switch and everybody starting again. But mm -hmm. I was listening to Elon Musk, his new one with Rogan, mm -hmm. and he said something that really resonated with me. Electric cars. Mate, you're talking about them or not. But what he Mars. said was, it's all about the Mars mission, right? No, when I was younger and all that, I was going, hey, space man, that's fucking mega. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I want to be an astronaut. And then I took cheap drugs to try and, you know, just simulate that effect. Um, but ending to outer space. I digress. Find another race. Uh, he said something like, if you look at, he goes, if we actually get to become interstellar and explore space, he goes, Australia, we're either going to find... In Australia, like, that's a great film, man. <laughs> what, that's something? Uh, Matthew Mohan, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get those numbers up. You know, hey, he, he, he for, he for on, he for hey, on yeah. musket. You, you know that Matthew Mohan, hey, does that fucking <laughs> in Australia, man? Yeah, mate, how, how, how often do you pull your pudding? Uh, get these numbers up, mate. I've been in a, I've been in a spaceship. <laughs> this, this, and I've got a right problem, mate. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Here, yeah, Elon, does a two handed wank count as double? Because I need to get my numbers up for me. <laughs> Elon, Elon, Elon. Are you, what is your name, Mucker? <laughs> yeah, listen, are you, are you chain up? Am I getting one of the electric motors when I get back for this rocket trip, man? Yeah. What do you mean? I've got it, Mars. Flood me. What? Six months to get here. Yeah. You better have this guy pumped up your e on. Yeah. Yeah, Elon. <laughs> Elon, I'm, I, how do you spell your wins name, mate? I'm, right, I'm writing in my birthday here. Is it, is it exclamation <laughs> pirate skull? <laughs> Oblique, oblique four, right? Cheers, my man. Fucking <laughs> you, little bus. Hey, right, so what was e you saying? E Efron, Efron, <laughs> it's it's Star Pilot Five. <laughs> what? What? See when? See when you? Are you? Where are you, Fay? <laughs> <laughs> Star oh, Pilot fucking, Five. Well, I name a I name a musket. No, anyway. So he was saying. He was saying. Once we did. Once we come interstellar and we actually get pla travel and you know through Inter the galaxies, interplanetary, all oh, right, through the galaxies. He said we're either going to find alien yep. life uh -huh. or we're going to find lots of planets like Earth that never oh. managed to escape Earth and basically uh, died on that planet. He goes because really that's what's going to happen. We're going to become a race that learns to do travel out with the solar system <laughs> for survival or when you think about it you're just waiting on planet earth for a meteor or something he goes if you look at through history that we know say there's always been an, an event he goes it's going to happen again he goes it's either going to wipe us all out and we start again or we get the skill level and the set to actually go and explore other galaxies for survival he goes folk are going to die it's going to take years he goes but unless we do it but ultimately sitting about waiting for extinction. And I thought, you, you throw on another thought about that. We're just waiting to die, mate. I bet no, not in our lifetime. No, I, I know, but that's you being selfish. If you, you have to look at it for uh, 
mankind for the human race. But again, mate, like, see if 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 Elon Musk in the next twenty years goes, I've built a fucking motor, right? That can take you up to Mars and then can fly you into another dimension. And there's another planet Earth there, and and there's a house the exact same as your house. And you can go and live on it. Who do you think is going? The one percent? It's no odds. No, no, well, that's, that's, that, that's what Rogan says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, he goes. Surely it's just going to be full of rich folk and all that. And he went, well, no, really, because it's really dangerous. He goes, it's only going to be brave people that go to explore. He said, and then it's going to take years and years of setting it up, getting it ready to inhabit. I said, I said, no, I, like I said to him, I said, Ephron, what, what are you talking about, mate? I'm yeah, just fuck it. You, what thought, are you saying to make me a head scratch? Ephron, I'm a brother of a brush, man. I can do a bit of fucking dado work if you want to get me on that new planet of yours, that Elon 534. I'm happy to do that, mate. Get the base coat on. I know my brother's a plasterer. Can he come and all? Ephron, Ephron seen that I was in the jail, man. I done a course on fucking uh, Thailand. So I see <laughs> any, of, any of your rockets and that. I could, what? In Mars? Double time? All right, Ephron, you're no bad, man. Wait, but anyway, well, you're fucked. I just thought it was great. We've already established that you wouldn't go into space. Fucking goddamn right, wouldn't he? Oh, because I'm a shite bag. So you're going to die about... on the planet? See, see, as a parent, your children are messages to the future. What about that? Oh, you like that? Fu- that? Is this the new album? Are you getting us a wee brief fucking... No, no but that's is what that I was going to think. Is that a new album, Kyle? Well, luckily, messages to the future. If you think about what you, you, you are nothing but love and your children that. is your love and messages into the future. So you need to start thinking further down the line, though. No? I love that in the same breath of the person going, here, children I love, and you need to think about messages into the future, is for the same guy who says, I couldn't have all that money, because I'd be asking cunts for blowjobs in the bank, man, I'd be getting shut down. Mate, you're mixing me up. See, like, Cheeky Mal, the, you know, the caricature. Oh, right, he's, sorry, he's a then. crazy guy. Bloodline, this bloodline. Is, this is, this is, this is, you talk to Malachi, the artist. Oh, I'm talking to Malachi, the artist, sorry, you know. Sorry, sorry. And, uh, you know, when I'm... I, when I'm selling records, you know, that's a good shite that I talk, uh, you know. No, but I do, I do genuinely think... Genuinely? Genuinely think the fucking Neds and Space should work for fucking SpaceX. Oh, without a doubt, man. <laughs> I mean, if, if if Elon Musk is listening, and I'm sure he is, if he does not employ uh, DJ Gibbo and GK Mal to be Neds in Space for fucking everyone's Starship 543, he's missing out big time, you know? It does sound like a laugh, because he was saying, he goes, did you see the... I think he was talking about the Borat movie when, he, when they were... Showing him showing Borat rockets and Borat said, Can you make it more pointy? He wanted <laughs> a rocket, mate. He goes, I actually said that to the board at SpaceX. And he yeah. went, What do you mean? He goes, I actually asked him to make it more pointy. And he went, Does that how and Joe Rogan's like, Why does that help the dynamics? <laughs> he goes, no, no. Just, 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 it just made it look more like a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I don't think Joe Rogan's well, like, Ephron, you'll be all right, good. See, if I got you in my flat, man, if you're like dancing, man, you would always go nuts, man. Like, I don't, do I, I don't, I don't like Joe, <laughs> I don't like Joe Rogan's stand up, right? I don't think he's a very good comic. I mean, he, no, I, I enjoy it, I enjoy it. His stand up, I, I just think it's no, it's no what you expect, but I quite like the. The madness, I wouldn't no, watch it all the time, no, but some it's really funny. But he's a, he's a great podcaster because you know he's he's got a great style, but his style is he's almost he's one of the guys where he knows everything about everything, but he doesn't know anything about anything. Do you know what I mean? So he, he does let them speak and he doesn't care what he says, and that's refreshing. But like when when Elon Musk was saying that, and Joe Rogan's going, Does that make it more aerodynamic? You're like, You don't actually know he's joking here, like, you don't actually know he's taking a piss. I, I he's just gonna, but I felt he like was in awe. And I, oh, I feel I, like I, he'll there, Elon Musk a, talk a lot more because usually he talks all your Sometimes Rogan. there's only a couple of people who, when you see him on, you know that Joe Rogan's a wee bit of a fanboy. Elon Musk is one of them. Right, uh, he's fishing for a new fucking electric motor, but isn't he? He must well, get he, it. He, right, gave, him a, he gave him a Tesla after the, after the first one, aye, because he was talking about that saying like this thing he's never experienced speed less in his life. Aye. And he, Elon Musk gave him a special one. It was like fucking. Yeah, that's one that you don't even need to plug in, mate. It's like fucking Pietro. He's like, I've got, I've got one in my garage, Joe. Just have that, mate. You can play chess now when you're driving. Imagine having Elon what? Musk as your pal. That'd be fucking the shit. Do you know what he's a bit dining. freaky about the way you, you know, when he, he's asked a question, it's almost like the, you can see the computer working, he's fucking processing every plausible outcome, and then he says the answer. I, mate, I spoke about a wee bit of this in my podcast on Sunday. Uh, oh, sorry, Sun- we'll move on now, will we? Su- Sunday service, uh, which is available uh, as well uh, to listen and download. I think humans are made up. So you're, you've got 100%, right? 100% makes a full human. And within that, you've got education, 
street smarts, uh, personality, you know, you everything that makes up a human. But it's got to add up to 100%. So see if you are someone who is incredibly intelligent, like at other level, like a, a surgeon or an Elon Musk or someone at that level, you have you have more intelligence than the average man. So you have to sacrifice a bit of personality or a bit of social skills. Elon Musk is a perfect example of that. He's, a, he's an odd man, but he's got a sense of humour and he's incredibly intelligent. But sometimes I look at him and think, I bet he let fucking peels his skin off and shit or that fucking choke there's cats. some mad just, shit going on there just, there's just a wee it's, it's his eyes his eyes are always like there's just so, but then always there's no the rumours that he's AI that he's a fucking robot it might very imagine how, how good would that be if yeah, he just went, if you look at early, early videos uh, if Ron Musk right right he just looks like a mad Wall Street fucking banker. There's no ah. vibe about my toys ah. like a fucking a, a right Ugh. and now he's this fucking cool dude right ah. I'm going and you're going, that's not the man. fucking same guy, man. And most of you like, ah, listen, he just fucking takes that Efron mask off, right? He's like, ah, here, see, yeah, see, what, see when I started getting <laughs> cool, right? Yeah. I'm a fucking ro- a robot. It's like intelligence. It's um, unofficial intelligence, man. <laughs> here, Joe, you want to hear some mental? I'm Banksy. <laughs> see, see everywhere I go, like, see I go to SECs and that for fucking talking about brainy things and that. I'm like, oh, I'll fucking do a wee graffiti thing, and, and then I'll, I'll eat there. Imagine Elon Musk was Banksy, that'd be fucking amazing. He writes, he writes fucking dance music. I know that's what I can't believe. He's a fucking AI. He is man. He's doing he too made much. He's a shit. robot. He's a robot, man. Aye. He's a robot. He just fucking opens up and it's like fucking X machina. Aye, it's like, a wee, it's like a wee fucking, it's like a wee guinea pig inside him, just controlling him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joysticks and all that. <laughs> wee Efron, what? That's, like, that's why Disney want you get beyond Mars, because it's just a fucking planet of guinea pigs, which sounds amazing to me. Oh, no. no they Mate, I fucking it's love it. It's tough to have socks What if Rogan <laughs> fucking and him, for, Rogan gave him the DMT? That'd be brilliant, just watching Efron Musk just be out his fucking banger. No, Imagine see, the like, He'd end up just talking numbers. Zero one 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 zero zero one one one. <laughs> just fuck. Imagine he just pure with. Imagine he just pure with Afman like. Yeah, Joe. Joe, you mean? Do you think? Do you think Hitler's bunker was the first monkey? Yeah. I would, mate. I don't see like people that know. I watched the boxing on. It was on the Saturday night. Right? I don't know if you watched or no. Um, the people who are paying like thirty quid to get the boxing, right? I would. I think I would pay a hundred quid. To have a a Patreon only episode of Joe Rogan and Elon Musk out there not on fucking DMT and weed, steaming and stoned for two or three years and just listen to Elon Musk go mad on the on the weed. No, just listen to the cycle babble what comes out. It'd be incredible, man. Think think what he would be like, you know, when you're younger and like, you'd be at parties and that and your mates would just start talking random shit. Well, and then when something you're... sticks with you and you think, man, you're like, fucking hell, man, they were, they were metal, Some of the man. nuggets of wisdom. Imagine his nuggets of wisdom. That's Mate. what I'm saying. He would just end up talking zeros and ones because it's beyond the fucking scope. It maybe even just be like noises. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he would take that big dry off. Just it's like Seth Rogen's there to row the joints, right? So they get good joints. Just take a massive fucking talk and thing like, listen, lads. <laughs> Is this recording? It, we've been recording for four days. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> got children, SpaceX. Children are the windows to your future, man. No, no, Fucking no. Like that. <laughs> children are the, the assholes of your life. No, they're, 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 what? They're the love, they're the love vessels of the past. <laughs> the he might just, he might just shut down. No, like if he just fucking. I imagine he just went pure para in the corner, pure quivering. Like Joe, what have you got two heads, Joe? What? Egron, uh, uh, Egron. What? What are you thinking in that scare, man? No, man. Imagine they're trying laugh. to get. Like, <laughs> they're trying to get all his secrets. <laughs> they're trying to get all his secrets. Out of him. What is it you want to achieve in life, Elon? I uh, really want to have sex with a black lassie. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Ephron. <laughs> Two talks. Right? Hold it in. Hold it in. Hold it in. Hold it in. Right, he's mad. He's mad. He goes, yeah. Ephron. You all right? What is what is the big number on the front of your kid, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Nee, was dit? Kies je vriendenmans. Vriendenmans. Zie wie vriendenmans. Ivron, Ivron. Kom maar, het is. Het is de vriendenmans met. Would you want your kebab, mate? Wat doe je dan? Je hand zijn dan. Hij is bekleed, man. Hij is absoluut bekleed. If Ivron, wat 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 is er niet in de life maken? Can we get some tickets, boys? <laughs> can, is get that, is that, get, the, the get big Dom. Get big Dom on the phone, man. Tell him the, mal- the, tell him the Lees want to make an order. The, the, the kangaroo. What's the fucking eat takeaway places? Pays you fucking go. What is that fucking Delivery? idea? Kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. <laughs> here, get on that kangaroo and get us a fucking Chinese meal up here. A succulent <laughs> Chinese meal. <laughs> <laughs> Ephron, you blew my mind, man. There's no kangaroos at Deliveroo. If I just deliver who you're fucking out your dial, man. I'm cutting you off, Ephron, man. I'm cutting you off. Name here. No. Oh, 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 Ephron, my man. Musket. Oh, oh, <laughs> calm down, sailor. You are wearing different seas, my man. <laughs> Yeah, I, he's been like musket, mate. We've got the whole, we've got the whole night, man. Chill it. That's what I need. Check my fucking Ephron, man. He's no let go, my fucking fifty-five teddy bear on it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just sat there on his speedos with my teddy in his hand, man. Yeah, Ephron. Yeah, right. Listen, I've got a topic for you. Colin Henry will never be regarded as a Rangers great. Discuss. <laughs> Discuss, <laughs> Ephron. <laughs> Marco Negri was one of the most under... Discuss. Discuss, Ephron. <laughs> would you, you rather guys... take... <laughs> would you rather take a punch off Joe Rogan or a goal kick to the face off George Alberts? Discuss. <laughs> Man, the troops run in the big guys like Jabba, my man. This is the best period I've had since that ten years Frank Bruno in my fucking And maybe red shots with a bag of green. A bag of green. Adam fucking lifting me mobile up, fucking doing chin ups with him sitting in his back, man. Okay, he's throwing money, he's banging, man. This is even better than Big Frankie. Get Frank on the phone, man. This is better. This is better than the night we went out with Big Frank, man, and we stuck 14 blues on these jap and sneaked into the bunkers. <laughs> Did selfies with fucking Elon Musk in the corner just fucking at his dad. What a party. Uh, Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Elon Musk and Joe Rogan and Frank Bruno's Cox just draped over your shoulder like that. Fucking. <laughs> oh, right, boys. Way, Frank, on, man, on free, it. boys. George Alberts on free. Alberts. <laughs> Big Frank, he's, he's not man, he just puts his banger in the arse of the man that's made. <laughs> oh. Here, Joe, I knew you were a good guy. And you know how? Do you know who else had fucking Labradors? George Alberts, mate. <laughs> oh, right. We need to wrap this one up, man. <laughs> this, is, this is too good to end on. This is a council oh. episode, for God's sake. Get mad with Biggie for on Musket. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I bet you his houses look fucking Tony Starks. I bet it's like pure iron, oh, man. 100%, man. Mate, think you all the need- shit he's got in there. You wouldn't need to move for the couch, just mad. You know, you'd be like, like you'd be going, here, Ephron, Ephron, I'm going to make a tin of soup, right? You've got to open the soup, like, what are you doing, man? I've got a machine, like, pure pits in there. Let's fucking just like, bowl of soup. He comes out the end of the chair. He bends his finger back and just soup comes fucking pouring out his finger. Look at that. Wait a I'm going to ask you this again, Ephron. You've got what? <laughs> Every <laughs> fucking all firm game on DVD. <laughs> What? For when? No, you go in, you, mate, you go in his basement, right? And he's like, I'm going to show you my most prized possession. You're like, holy <laughs> shit, man. I bet it's like an Iron Man suit or it's like a battery that never runs out. And you go in, right? And there's like hundreds of space motors and like fucking, there's like robots and all that in the corner. You're like, what is this, man? And then right at the back, you just see a spotlight over a painting. You're like, I can't really make that out. And as you get closer, it's a, <laughs> a tiny wee thing. And you're like, maybe it's like a bit of moon rock for another dimension or something. And you get in, you're like, is that? Is that a pound coin, Ephron? That is the pound coin that <laughs> hit Hugh Dallas. <laughs> right. Wait, wait, what? Ephron, hold on a minute. I thought you were saying this work. Is that a sign Celtic to that for Larson? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I thought you were sound as fuck, you kid. It came with the pound coin, lads. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You've got the uh, canyon's boots. Hey, You've got the canyon's boots. Get them in the Get fire. Get them out the fucking hoose, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good bounce, man. Good bounce with Efron. Yeah, Efron's not even say the hanger. He's just sat in the no. corner like that, chewing the fucking nose off him. Uh, he's absolutely, he's not. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, Efron, man. Yeah, Efron. Watch four and four, big <laughs> Uh, you fucking monkey. The wife, the wife came in. Just see him. See you on the quaaludes. <laughs> he's 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 went in Stella and he's crossed over to another dimension. Let him be, get, man. Get a suit. Free fraud. I have six eggs. If I eat three, <laughs> how many have I got left, my man? He's been like mashing his face in the coin <laughs> like Efron. Listen. <laughs> Me and the boys are way up the road, but I've I've put two pillars next to you in case you have an epi fit. All right, mate. Don't worry, you're <laughs> totally cool. Yeah, yeah, Brian. Why him on his side, man? I'm a bit worried about lean him. What? <laughs> cut, cut his tongue out so he doesn't choke on his tongue. Right, we need we need to wrap this we need to wrap this one up. School school we front, we'll just take one of the motors of yours. Don't need that taxi. I thought we've all been drinking, right? We've all had a few, <laughs> but that drives itself, man. Ah, that's it. I wonder if you could do that. I wonder if you could get steaming and then put autopilot on and just let it Set the passenger seat. Aye. Wasn't it me? I've been a while. <laughs> <by the road. laughs> Battering fucking wings. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it me? Uh, that fucking... This motor's <laughs> motor got around his head, man. <laughs> I think that motor was mad with it. Was that an old man? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's put, <laughs> somebody's put half a litre of buck first in the fuel tank. <laughs> I wonder if you could buy a Tesla and then get like knock off fucking Chinese batteries to stick in it. I don't know what he's doing, man. Sweet yeah, metal. can I get 20 quid on my power gear, mate? Got a Tesla. <laughs> I think you drive a Tesla. Oh, it's not how it works, pal. Chapping doors with your plug. Any chance I can plug those in there? The Tesla's just shut down the motor. <laughs> Is there any fast chargers in Stevenson? Fuck you, Todd. <laughs> uh, I need a fast charger. My yeah. head, you get much charging that vape pen in your safe. <laughs> get a Tesla up the road, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can charge my Tesla with my iPhone and you charge it with three feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good bands. <laughs> good bands. I'd love a Tesla. I'd fucking love a Tesla. I want to go on one fast. I want to see what it's like. I want to, I want to feel that force on my on my chest. Even, even in my wee electric motor, we put the fit down. It goes like you get heat kicking back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel right? I've not got a Tesla, man, but I know what you're talking about. I've drove a bulk floor for. <clears throat> Tesla. Yeah, Tesla. <laughs> Efron. <laughs> Efron. See how your go kart goes like fucking two other miles now, mate? You've never felt the buzz are hanging off the back of your milk float at four in the morning, mate, with an old fucking guy screaming at you, get off my foot, oh, fuck you, yeah, I can't. Yeah, hey, so, I think you're mad as fuck, right? But who, who do you think's mad as fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, F, Efron, uh, yeah, musket, muskrat, muskrat. <laughs> Listen up, here, I've got a business plan for you, mate. Listen, right. <laughs> Bye, Rangers. <laughs> yeah, no, hear, me, hear me, Ethan, right? You buy Rangers, make it all electric, man, right? It'll be fucking brilliant, mate. Mate. <laughs> Can you imagine if that happened, they opened a Tesla factory in Govan? <laughs> all the governors making Tesla motors? <laughs> Every fucking he's like, why? Why have all these Teslas got a fucking Union Jack on the back of them? It's me, it's the Govan Tesla. <laughs> why are we suddenly making them in orange? <laughs> if if could, could I be as bold as to, to offer a few ideas to the next Chevron? <laughs> <laughs> no, what is, what is it? Are you fucking motors you make that? No. See, like, I think like, if you see, like, you have a what school do you go to, man? <laughs> if you... Ephron, Ephron, <laughs> here's an idea, right? Listen. Here, hear me out, right? Why don't you make 
a ten in a row Tesla. Right now, hear me. <laughs> hear me right. <laughs> it's a it's a Tesla with with Stevie Gerrard's face on the bonnet, right? And you mate, you'd sell about two hundred in fucking government. Honestly, you made a fortune. Listen, you know, I can't get one, right? I'd love one, I can't buy one, right? But see, Big Bridal, it owns the Bristol bar. I can't eat, buy one, mate, man. He'd buy two of them, man. <laughs> one for him, one for his bird. <laughs> now, if I brought that in, my missus would dare not, mate. I can't get involved in that carry on anyway. Nah. <laughs> right, we need to wrap this up, man. I've got stuff to do. Council episode 120. <laughs> Oh, wow. uh, Elon, Efron Musk buys Rangers and starts a ten in a row Tesla. It's uh, it's the future, man. Get money on it. Get your shares. Get your shares now. <laughs> the ten in a row Tesla. <laughs> the tap it's just a Union Jack. <laughs> red, it's red, <laughs> it's red, white, red, white, and blue. Uh, and it's got RFC on the hub on the hubcaps. The Queen, the, the Queen orders. But <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how fast it goes. The Queen orders ten of them. It's got a special pull out for the corgis. <laughs> it comes with a flagpole on the front of it so you can get the fucking no, oh, the name of God. you got to be stash books in this man listen man we're, we're obviously just joking it's a comedy podcast nothing we see we take serious you know we're just oh. uh, we're just, we're just making fun um, <laughs> right become a hero if you've not already go to the hashtag show.co.uk for all the links follow <laughs> Follow me and Mal on the socials. Um, do it before the podcast gets shut down because that's probably the way it's going to go. Uh, right, thank you for listening. Thank you uh, to all the council listeners out there. We love you all. Come <laughs> over. Uh, you deserve it. Become a hero. Uh, we need you. Um, we'll be back again next week, one two one with a hero episode only on Patreon. Uh, until then, stay safe. Look after yourselves. We should know it. And uh, we'll, we'll see you all very soon. Uh, oh, you got any, any you want to mention any way, plugs or anything like that? Any live shows coming up, live streams? Still a couple of my raffle tickets available. £10, you can win over £300 of ultrasonic merchandise. All the music, all the, all the cool gear. Get involved, yeah, man. How do, you, how do you get a ticket for that? You click that link, man. You click that link. <laughs> Where is the link? Uh, on, my, on my Facebook pages. Uh... <clears throat> right, fine, fine, my locally on Facebook. Right, that's us. All the best. Take care. Thanks for being a hero. Oh. Uh, those of you in the council... Come on over. It's lovely here. The water's warm. Join, 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 join us. See you soon. Bye bye. Thank you. you say bye bye. Whatever you say, bye. Bye bye. Hi everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. The hashtag show.co.uk